Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, mm. oh my gosh, just still dirt on my hair. What is this? Is this dust? Oh. Anyways, something crazy happened today. I need to talk to you guys and tell you exactly what happened. But I'm fine now. I've been resting for the past few hours. And Aaron has bought this ice pack for my neck. And also this ice pack for my leg and also for my head. And I'm feeling much better now, but oh my gosh, today was crazy. It was insane. I can't believe like what a crazy day it was. Okay, I have to start from the start. I have to I, I, I gotta tell you guys from the start because it's just too much that happened today. All right. Mm -hmm. You guys didn't know I'm currently pregnant. I'm around six months pregnant and my stomach is really, really big. Let me show you what I mean. Like, look at how big my tummy is right now. <gasps> Do you see this? Do you see this bulge? It's huge. So um, my mom has been telling me that I have to go out for walks even more. Because if I don't, it's going to be really hard for me in the labor room when, I'm, when I have to pop out the baby. So I was like, okay, I decided to go out for a walk. And at the same time, maybe I'll go out and buy some stuff too. Something light, which I can carry back in my tote bag. I got this really cute tote bag from Thailand the other the other year. I think it was like last year and it was adorable. So I just brought it with me and you will never guess who I met at the grocery store. So if you guys didn't know, there were these three uh? diva sisters that I went to high school with. So it's the youngest is Edna, the middle is Fifi and the eldest is called Mina. I can't believe I haven't seen them in like... I think a yearish, like since we've all like kind of like we just parted ways and everything. The last time I saw them, it wasn't. It was just like a coincidence at a shopping mall, and they didn't really want to look at me. But you know what? I am. I can't believe I bumped into them. I can't believe I bumped into them in the grocery store. What's even worse is that I don't know if we don't really follow each other on social media anymore. But actually, it was more like they stopped following me for I don't know whatever reason. So I I did the same thing for them. So I met the three of them. They were like, they were in the sweet section of the grocery store. They were gossiping away. When they saw me, they were like, <gasps> they were just looking at each other, giving each other the stank eye. And they're kind of like looking at me like this. I couldn't really hear what they were saying, but I knew they were whispering and it was definitely about me. So I tried to be really nice. I went up to them and I was like, hi girls, I haven't seen, I haven't seen you girls in a while. Just, you know, being nice and just saying hello as I usually do. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Edna, the youngest one, looked at me in the eye she eyed me from head to toe like this and she was like wow you gained a lot of weight oh my gosh <laughs> i was like girl oh, oh thanks but i'm actually pregnant if you can't really tell like my belly is kind of big and she was like really you don't look pregnant you look really really big now i was like is this girl trying to throw shade at me out of everybody she's throwing shade at me okay this is enough to give you guys some some sort of context we grew up together I've, I've known these girls for a very long time and guess what when Edna was young she was slightly overweight and I, I thought it was fine and a lot of other girls always made fun of her in school or in like social settings or people we, we knew around us and I was the only person that stood up for her and I was the only one who wanted to still talk to her and be her friend and this is how this was how she treated me as soon as she lost her weight people were calling her fat and big and calling her like really bad names such as you're such an elephant but i was the one who didn't i was the only one who stuck by her and when people were calling her names i called these girls out i was like y'all that is so not cool you don't talk to other people like that you know what's even worse there was one time i found her locked up in a room all by herself and she was locked up by these other bullies in my school. She was trapped in a locker once, but um, the principal found out that she was trapped in a locker, so got her out. But this other time, these three other, mm -hmm. actually there were four of them. Yeah, these four other bullies locked her up in the science room. And thankfully I was in the room. I didn't know I was gonna get locked up with her. I was inside trying to find my science, ex <laughs> I was inside trying to find my science project or experiment or something. And all of a sudden I, hear, I heard crying and a loud slam of the door and I realized, wait, what's going on? And she was crying and the, the girls were like, ha ha, you deserve it, you pig. Stay in this room and don't ever come out. Don't even look at us in the eye or else we're gonna trap you in the toilets next time. And she was just locked up, she was crying so badly and I was like, wait a second, am I currently being locked up right now with this girl? So I saw her and I was like, hey girl, are you okay? That's how I got to know her for the first time. I was like, what's your name? She was like, my name is Edna. I'm like, oh, hi, I'm Ruth Bell. Are you all right? Um, those 
those girls were really mean. And she was like, yeah, they, they always do this. They try to find ways to lock me up because I'm fat and everything. And I was like, oh no, girl, don't worry. I'll get you out of here. So what we did was, good thing it was like, it wasn't that tall. It was kind of like there was a window outside. So we climbed out the window onto the stairs. It was like right next to each other. So it wasn't dangerous. And then we just escaped. Right after that, I made a report to the yes. to the principals and everything. And like those girls got in trouble. But like I stood by her ever since. Ever since that day, I stood by her. I made sure nobody bullied her and stuff. Guess what? She was nice to me for a bit. I think it was like she was nice to me for like a year. Right after that, when she lost her weight, she managed to get into to this girl group or something and ever since she did that she completely ignored me she never spoke to me ever again because she thought she became the it girl so i was like okay you know what never mind you know um kindness will come and go you know it's it's not that important anyway like as long as she's in a better place and she's not getting bullied being called weird names like that i was like okay it's all right i'm just gonna like i'm just gonna let things go and move on with my life mm -hmm. but i cannot believe she had the audacity to say that to me this morning when I went to the grocery store. Oh. oh. So I told her, I was like, no girls, I'm actually pregnant. Guess what Fifi said? She was like, oh, huh? really? Who's the dad? What do you mean who's the dad? It's Aaron. <laughs> so Fifi, which is the middle child, has always had a huge crush on my husband. Mm -hmm. And back then it was boyfriend because, you know, we all went to the same school and stuff. She's always had a huge crush on Aaron. I was like, obviously Aaron, we've been married for so many years. If you guys didn't know or haven't watched some of our old drama videos, Fifi and Amina, they're real. Mm -hmm. They're as real as they can get, girl. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. So I basically held in my temper and I was like, yeah, it's Aaron. Who else? Obviously it's Aaron. They were like, oh really? Hmm. And then Mina gave me the dirtiest look I've ever seen in my life. She was like, oh, I hate babies. Good luck with that. She gave me one of those eyes and I was like, what? I mean, girl, if you don't like kids, that's good for you. I mean, like, maybe she has, like, fur babies or two, but she hated animals, too. How can you hate, like, cute doggies and kittens like Toki? Toki, right, Toki? Anyways, guys, after that, I took my groceries and I just had to get out of there. I took my groceries. I just head home. I was like, good seeing you girls. I'm, I'm going to go now. Um, Baby needs rest. So I came home and as you guys know, we're in the middle of moving because if you've been following the channel, you know that a lot of weird things have been happening mm -hmm. in our house with like creepy fan mail and stalkers, like creepy, creepy people. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they're not even fans. They're just trying to scare us or maybe they're haters or something. So we've been packing a lot and we want to move. Move. Um, since we're having a baby and our family is finally expanding, with Toki having not enough space to run around, we started to decide to move. So we have a lot of boxes here and also in my room and everything. And today I just, oh my gosh, Aaron is such a sweetheart because he gave me, he bought me some coconut right after my fall. Oh, I really hope everything is fine. I'm going to go to the doctors. Basically, this is what happened. So I wanted to bring Toki for a walk because Toki... You know, he needs to get his exercise in. He's a bit chubby now. Right, Tokes? He's a bit chubby. Look at him. <laughs> Basically, I was trying to get through my boxes over here and I was leashing him and there were a lot of boxes in the way. I, Aaron kind of moved them away from me already and kind of cornered them to the side. But as I was holding my leash, there was someone at the door. I'm really hoping it's not who I think it is, which is like one of our haters. Cause I think someone has been watching us from like the balcony and stuff. I can't wait to move. Oh my gosh, we gotta get out of here like quickly. And maybe like quietly and quickly. By the time you see, you guys see this video, we probably would have already moved already. <laughs> and I'll show you guys a new tour if you guys want to, but I'm pretty sure someone was at the door watching or listening. So Toki barked. And Toki barked so hard, his leash pulled me. I tripped on one of the boxes right below here and I fell. Oh my gosh, and I fell. It was so painful. And oh my gosh, I was like panting. I couldn't catch my breath. I thought my water was going to break. My oh. knees were bruised. Basically, I fell exactly behind where Toki is right now. And I think I was just on the floor for like a good, I don't know, I think it was like half an hour. I couldn't get up. And Aaron wasn't home, so I had to call him. He quickly rushed home and he bought me coconut. And he bought me like ice packs and everything. He's been, been the best. And 
a uh, water break and this has just helped me recover so much better my knee is still kind of bruised my stomach kind of hurts i think we might have to go for oh my gosh look at my belly my baby is still kicking though i can still feel my baby's kicks but i'm gonna go do a checkup in the next few days we're gonna call the hospital and quickly do a checkup so that like to make sure the baby is fine and everything so guys please give this video a like so that our baby is actually okay and nothing is wrong with mm -hmm. her as y'all know our baby's a she <laughs> in the previous videos yes and if you have like any mm -hmm. cookies panting over here if you guys have any like good uh names for our baby girl please comment down below so you can give us good ideas of what to name our baby all right guys but oh, i'm just so exhausted we still have a bit of packing to do we'll give you a new house tour like really soon oh my gosh guys i just hope i don't bump into the diva sisters like another time I feel like they don't really live around here and I'm worried that what if at the new place they do live around my new place as well seeing them all the time would have been oh. it's gonna be crazy anyways guys I'm gonna go take a quick shower and I'm gonna rest because my stomach is kind of hurting right now Ouch. I'm getting like kind of bad cramps oh, I really hope she's okay I really hope our baby is okay I'm so worried I hope this doesn't happen anymore in our new place and then we don't get bad news so please turn on the bell notification for updates and also join our OK Club memberships so that you can support the channel and also support our future baby girl and subscribe to OK Family channel before our baby's born because we are so close to hitting 100,000 anyways guys that's it for today and I'll keep you updated stay tuned for our live streams and i'll see you next time bye